The scary part is you can hear it. See, the wind is coming. Listen. You can hear it from miles away. And it's because the wind, as it carries through the woods, makes all the cracking noises with the trees and the leaves. It's about to get here. Here it is. That tree. When the goats decided that it was the perfect weather to go out. I mean, they have their hay inside the house. They can eat as much as they want. But they'd rather be outside under the trees. Just to make me a little bit more nervous. I mean, there's rain coming. We had a, a break. You see everything falling. Oh, it's coming again. Mocha, go in! Go in! Mr. Black, stop crying. I was outside looking at the goats, making sure nothing um, fell and messed with the fence. That's what I am afraid of. And um, and then I this <laughs> just fell from one of the trees. I mean, and the trees that it fell from is one of the very strong ones that shouldn't be thrown down. Birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. The future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard times You and I can weather any storm Before I sleep It really has been raining 
all day and all night and in between I keep joking around that I wake up to rain I go to bed with rain and everything in between it's rain we've had strong winds a lot of damage a lot of trees that fell and big limbs and stuff like that so that is part of you know the clean out after the storm too but the goats have been inside really I can't tell you that they've been outside at all I've been keeping an eye on them regardless and I've also been house sitting for a friend so let me show you here it's gonna look kind of weird with the lighting but well, that was over there, over there. It's all cattle <laughs> eating still under the crazy, crazy rain. I'm gonna try to catch it in another window because on this one, it doesn't look like it's raining that much, but it really is. And my buddy over there would be um, a little busy, is sleeping, and um, yeah. Such a nice view from here so i decided you know instead of not sharing anything because of the weather that's my ginger friend <laughs> he likes to come close to the fence and he just Stairs. He's staring at me right now. Can you see it? <laughs> but um, he likes when I talk to him. You see some of them over there. They keep staring like, what? <laughs> and when I drive by, I just lower the window and talk to them, and it's the funniest thing ever. I'm sure people would look at me and think I'm crazy. Probably very likely despite that it's raining or it's been raining for the last two weeks this is the time that we have to get things done you know once things dry out we are dry until October or November so we appreciate the rain so that will make it easier for us as volunteer firefighters when you know it's a, a it, it's a milder summer or we get a little bit more rain more into April and even May but for getting things done it's just not it's just not the best hi Mr. Cow hi there hi baby yes where's your mom where is she love you're just eating hay by yourself you're such a big boy. Now, I've been keeping an eye on the babies. I really wanted to see the difference between the boys that I have now and the boy that I had last year with Taz. Taz was incredibly interested in breeding since he, I mean, really, he was extending maybe when he was six weeks old maybe even before then and so i've been kind of um, scared of the idea of the other three boys starting that early but i have to say that they're not interested at all and that's okay rocky wasn't interested in breeding or wasn't as dominant or it wasn't as persistent or it wasn't as interest in girls for since he got to the farm in April until September. So I guess they take after their dad, so they're not really interested in breathing. Uh, as you know, I'm gonna weather two of them. And I've been having conversations with uh, the, the boy's new owner and uh, some things might change. I just want to say that but uh, everything looks good I got the posits for them they're going to a new farm in the summer but right now I have to keep the other goat safe and I'm telling you I've spent the good part of the day working on projects yesterday and I've been keeping a good eye on them recently and they are not interested what really puts me at ease 
and again they are not eight weeks old when people start separating but I've been doing a lot of tethering them outside and leaving them to eat more grass and eat more greens that helps with the feed and at the same time it helps with the separation so we don't have to do it cold turkey when we're ready to. However, since it's been raining, it's almost impossible really to have them outside without having a shelter. So uh, right now they're eating inside the goat house and even the boys are inside their house. And I'm probably gonna go and start with the garden right now because it's non-stop rain. So this is the garden bed I started the other day. Broccoli, I have some lettuce here more lettuce is there and some uh, peas I'm not sure if this is lettuce I think this is lettuce this was a nice surprise a couple of years ago I think it was the like the very first spring we moved here in 2020 I planted some elephant garlic and I know there's another one over there but the ducks um, I put a barrier around and the ducks wouldn't leave it alone. Then all of a sudden, now in 2022, <laughs> they started to show signs of life. And really, this is how they look like. So I put this frame around it to protect it. And for now, it's been working. I know there's another one over there that the duck's been eating. But I'm pretty excited about having some elephant garlic, at least these two, that I'll probably use as seeds for the fall. I don't know if you remember the big pile of manure that I put in this garden bed and um, a lot of leaves and other organic matter preparing it to plant. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but now it's to the point of the lip. So it's already composted 90% of it. I mean, it came down with all the bacterial activity that it's in this bed. So I'm pretty excited to start using it. I also put grass clippings on top. I don't know if you can see them, but that helped a lot with some of the grass that wanted to grow. Honestly, as soon as it started to cool off, grass wanted to grow there. And now I only have just a few around, as you can see, and not all throughout the bed. These are my carrots, and they're looking better and better as we are getting into more light. We have been pretty dark because it's been raining and storming for quite a while, but if you can See there, right there, they are starting to turn orange and then as soon as I harvest these carrots that I desperately want to <laughs> eat, then I'm gonna clean this bed and start working on this part of it. On this other side with the, all the amending and everything, the bottom, I mean, there's so much um, activity as far as earthworms and all the kind of life that you want to see in the soil before you plant. And I know that 
that we are not getting any younger But as long as there is time I will walk beside you Cause I just wanna be where you Wanna be where you